You gonna focus? You gonna focus, camera? Hello there, guys. It's Lucy here from the Just Cause YouTube channel reporting for duty. We are just about to head off to New York to see Avalanche Studios for some awesome dev diary filming. We are about to hit the road. I'll see you in a bit. We are on our way to New York. I can't wait to meet the Avalanche team. It's gonna be awesome. See you there. Very cool to be in the Avalanche Studios base in New York City. Like this is where Just Cause is being made. It's awesome. And just to see all the like memorabilia and stuff, it's it's proper wicked. I'm having the geekiest, nerdiest time of my life. And I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> Welcome back guys, it's day two of the Dev Diary filming here at Avalanche Studios in New York City. Things are really amping up now, the studio is all set up by Other Finger Films and our lovely host Jessica Chobot is now here to interview the dev team. And I'm going to show you all the behind the scenes footage, give you a little bit of a tour, give you some sneak peeks, you know, some stuff that you might not have seen otherwise, so it's going to be exciting. You need to stick around. So behind me is literally where just Cause 4 is being created, developed and worked on as we speak. We are in the midst of a huge game being developed right now. That's pretty cool. I don't want to get in the way too much because they're, they're currently working on the wingsuit stuff, so i got to be a bit quiet, but it's so cool. So just checking in here, Jessica and the other Finger Films guys have just finished uh, doing an interview with Omar, who is the narrative director for Just Cause 4. Now they're moving on to interviewing Francesca, who is the overall game director. So the folks here at Avalanche Studios in New York City have developed their biggest game engine yet called the Apex. It can handle pretty much anything that you want to throw at it. Here, not only does it affect your surroundings, but it also directly affects your gameplay. Um, it's pretty hardcore, it's pretty amazing to watch happen, and I got a chance to sit down with the folks here to find out how they actually managed to pull this off. I hope we were rolling. We, we, we would. <laughs> uh, I, I was wishing we would. God damn it! <laughs> uh, the best part of it, I would say, is just being able to see the creative process, the behind the curtains look at how games are made. Being able to get involved and be a part of the community, be a part of the industry, just all of that's just Perfect. You're always enjoying your job. My name is Kenny McCracken and on this project I am the second unit director. My favourite aspect of filmmaking or photography is getting a buzz out of creating something that's nice, beautiful. If you don't get a buzz out of it, then you're in the wrong job. Profile for me. So we're now getting some close-up shots of Thomas, the art director, and it's all very quiet and very intense, but super cool. Hi guys, it's day three of the Dev Diary filming here at Avalanche Studios in New York City. Not what's on the piece, it's the movement. Yeah, sorry, uh, it's very soft touch. Uh, 
We are now wrapping up day three. Tomorrow will be mainly comprised of B-roll and we'll also just be, you know, wrapping up with some of the developers. Signing off, goodbye. So now Jessica and Tim are doing a tour of the whole office floor and uh, it's quite hard for the film crew team because they have to walk backwards the whole way so they're pretty much doing this. It's really hard because people are walking around, they're like doing their job, just doing their day-to-day -day things. Most of the dev diaries have just been in a studio with a backdrop and now they're having to like maneuver around the office and make it all seamless. So it's quite a difficult part of uh, what we're doing but it looks really cool. Jessica is getting a full-on tour of Avalanche Studios. So the developer diary shoot has now come to an end. It is day four and we are now packing up and getting things ready to go home. It's been an experience, it's been a good time. It's been amazing seeing all the tiny little intricate details that go into creating such a massive game like Just Cause 4. And also, what goes into creating a dev diary. You wouldn't think that much goes into a dev diary, but a lot really does. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes on that stuff and the film crew and the dev team and everyone that goes into making such a good game. All right, I will catch you on the next one, guys. See you later.